Hi Vipaws lover. It's the Vipaws tutorial here. This video is going to show you what's new on Vipaws 2.0.2 version. Let's get started. In this version, Vipaws added some new features. They are full stock management, order returns or refunds and add barcodes or QR codes on invoice. Let's see details about those features. If you are new to our channel then please click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get more updated videos. And if you are already a subscriber to our channel, then thank you so much for subscribing. On full stock management, you will get some new features. There are stackable, WooCommerce stock, OutletWise stock, online stock link with outlet, transfer online stock to outlet, stock transfer, stock receive and price update list. Let's see the details of those features. To enable stock, first we need to go to the admin panel. Here, we get the stock setting module. We can enable full stock management, but if we don't enable it, then let's see what happened on pause. Click on the view pause button. If we don't activate the full stock management, then we can select product if the product is out of stock also. Here we can make an order and get a receipt. Now on the admin panel, if we enable full stock management, then we get two stock types. One is WooCommerce stock, single stock, and another is Outlet Y stock, multi stocks. Let's select the WooCommerce stock, single stock. If we select it, then Vipaws will use the WooCommerce stock, ensuring that a single stock is used both on the website and in the pause system. Now let's see the pause panel. Now we can see that, on pause, all the products have their own stock level and we can see the quantity of each product. Now if you add a product to the cart and want to order more than its quantity, it shows you a red warning. We placed an order for tissues with 99 in stock. We added 50 tissues to our cart and make an order. So we now have 49 tissues. Later, we visited the online store and searched the tissues and noticed that there were also 49 in stock. This means Vitepaws syncs their stock with WooCommerce inventory. Now if we purchase any product then it increases the quantity of WooCommerce stock. So we purchase a product from Paws and visit the online shop to see the stock quantity. We can see that the quantity of the product has increased. That's how WooCommerce stock, single stock, work on our Paws system. After purchasing you can also see the stock log by clicking on the stock log button. From here you can see the full details of the product stock and can get it. Now we select another pause type, outlet wise stock, multi stock. And here, you will get separate stock for each outlet, stock transfer, and receive feature will be available in the Vite Pause. You need to purchase or add stock product for each outlet. Now each outlet will have its own separate stock in Vite Pause. For online sales on your website, the system will use the default stock from WooCommerce. To manage online sales stock, simply add stock from the WooCommerce admin panel. Vitepaws purchase or add stock will not work for online stock. Now, visit the pause and let's see the works of OutletWise stock, multi-stock. Now we are in Luigi's Fashion House outlet. Here we see that this outlet has 20 tissues in stock which is shown in pause and stock modules also. After updating stock, Vipaws adds some new feature that is transfer and receive stock from one outlet to another. Now, we will transfer a product stock from the current outlet to another outlet. You can transfer multiple products at a time. Now click on the stock transfer button. We can see that the current outlet is selected already. Now we have to select the outlet where we want to transfer the stock. Then give a note if needed, then select or search the product which you want to transfer or also you can scan the product to add for transfer. 
After selecting you can see the current stock quantity and you have to give the number of quantities for transfer. You cannot transfer more quantity than the current stock quantity. We see that a new list created which status is pending. If you choose the wrong outlet for transfer stock then you can cancel the transfer. For that you have to click on the details of which status has pending. Then click on cancel button. You can see that the transfer is terminated and the status changes to cancel. Now, we create another transfer stock list to see how to receive the stock from another outlet. To receive the stock we have to change the current outlet to the transfer outlet. On the top right we can see the outlet change icon. Click on that and you will get the outlet change option. Here select the outlet where you transferred the stock. Now go to the stock module and click on receive transfer. Here you will receive all the stock. Now, for receiving stock we get an action button. Click on it you can see the receive button and decline button. If you receive then the status will change to complete and the transfer stock will be added with the previous stock and change the quantity of the product. Otherwise, by clicking on decline the status will be declined and the transfer stock will not add on the outlet and also the previous stock will not change. Here if you want then can see the details by clicking on the detail button. We have another option to manage online product stock as outlet stock where the selected outlet stock will reflect on the online shop. Note that, now if you want to increase the product stock from WooCommerce then it will not show on online shop and also on pause. All the stock will manage from Vitepause. Now you have to enable an online stock link with outlet. You can link your online sales to a specific outlet and the system will use the stock from the linked outlet for online sales. Here you can select any outlet for linking with the online stock. Let's see how it works. First, we make an order from pause. Then see the product quantity. Now go to an online store and see the quantity of the product. We see that it matches with each other. And if we make an order online, then it will manage the stock on pause also. Now for enabling the online stock link with the outlet, we get another option on the admin panel that is to transfer current online stocks to the selected outlet. If you process your online stock transfer to outlet, then after transfer your online stock will be empty. So be careful about transferring online stock to outlets. If somehow the purchase price increases or decreases during the purchase time and if you also need to update the sale price then fill up the checkbox. After purchasing the product go to the purchase module. Now those who have the permission to change the price can get the list in the purchase module on the update price list tab. Check here, you can see the products list that you want to update the price. In this list you get two action buttons. One is the update price and another is to ignore updates. If you click on the update price then you get a pop-up where you can see the last five purchase lists and you can edit the regular price and sale price from here. After editing you have to click on update. If you don't want to update the product price, then click on Ignore Update. Now we are see the details about order returns or refunds. In the order module, on the right side, we will get a new refund button. Click on it. We will get a pop-up here. We have to scan the product that the customer wants to return or refund. Otherwise, you can also search by order properties like order ID, outlet, process by, customer, offline ID, order date of the order. Here we scan and get an order ID for refund. After searching we will get the order ID. On the right side, click on the refund button and we will get all the information of the order. Here we can select one or more products and return partial products. After selecting we have to give the reason for the refund then below we will get the refund button enabled.
Now click on the refund button. We can see the return amount is showing. Check the search again button for more order refunds. Now we will show you full refund. Now for full refund, we select all the products and give the refund reason then click on full refund button. It will show the full refund amount. After refund, you can print the refund invoice if you want. For that, on the order module we have a new button that is a refund list. On this list you get all orders that's refunded. Here if you want then you can see the details. For that, click on the details button. In this receipt, you can also see the total refund amount, refund ID, refund products with quantities. Here you can print or download the invoice. Now we are see the details about add barcodes or QR codes on invoice. Vitepause adds a new feature that is to add barcode or QR code on invoice. For adding code, you have to go to the admin panel. In the settings module on the print setting tab, you get order info accordion. Click on it to open and you get a new option to show order barcode. First, enable it. After enabling, you will get more options. On code type, you can select barcode or QR code as you want. And on barcode position, you can select the position to header or footer. After selecting, click on the save button. Now go to pause to check. Select any order in the order module and click the details button. Then click on the print button. As we can see, the code will show in the footer as we set it in the admin panel. Barcode and QR code is given on the receipt as it will mainly be used to get the order ID. Now you can scan the receipt to get your desired order in order module or refund module. This will save considerable time. That concludes our overview of what's new on Vitepaws 2.0.2 version. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more updated videos.